Hello everybody, this is Stringer here to kick off the first part of the last 32 round. Um, we don't, we do not have a main event, no group stage, nothing like that anymore. This is it. When you lose, you're done. And we've got four matches in this session. So, hope you enjoy them all. At first, it is going to be Kaijong Cooper going up against Black Rider. Then, we are going to see Silver Knight taking a crack at Futuristic. At third, we're going to have D-Team going up against the tournament host, Stranger Gamer. And to conclude this batch of matches, we have got Sunlight Rabbit going up against Benjamina. Right, let's not dilly-dally. Let's get on with our first matchup, shall we? Okie dokie. Okay, there might be a little bit of lag. I'm not sure why this is lagging, but oh well. Right, in the red corner for Kaijon Cooper, we have got Penticeratops. Kaijon Cooper straight down a group, group E. Getting a crucial win against Arctic Warriors to secure this match. Lag it again. Hang on, guys. Two sacks. Right, that should be fair. Right, in the blue corner for Black Rider, we have got Mega Raptor. Black Rider, this time last year, was already out. Did go out of the group stage, but this time did make it and quite convincingly finishing second in the table. In group H behind Tyrant King. Only by virtue of the head to head. Overall, I think Black Rider was probably the best strongest combatant in that group and probably did deserve to win the group but hey that's how it goes so yeah it's gonna be a tough test for Kaijong and Kaijong did fall at the last 32 hurdle in last year's tournament I can't remember to who but they did lose this, this last 32 match Ooh, and this black rider getting the first shot of the match it's a venom fan Oh, I think this is where the real tournament begins. You know, group stages are fun enough. The knockout round is where the real, where it really ramps up the intensity. I'm sure a lot of you newcomers are going to find that out. Okay, it's a tie. The Venom Fang is going to chip away at the Pentaceratops. That is going to be an issue there for Kaijon. And this has not been an ideal start. And is Black Rider getting another hit on the board? Another Venom Fang. This is a good start from Black Rider. I will say, they are on a very kind side of the draw. So there is potential for anyone in this video to make a really deep run in this tournament. Okay, so one. And that is going to be 1-0 to Black Rider. Now I will say, as a reminder, the semi-final and the finale will be a be will be best of three matches, and there will be no bronze medal match this year. Right, coming in next for Kaijong Cooper, we've got you up the Cephalus. This has not been a good start from Kaijong. Very slow and sluggish out the gates. Um, actually, there's no terrain advantage here because there's n n none of our guys have a secret dinosaur. Ooh, okay, there's a hit. Kaijong finally getting a hit in this match. Okay, that's a tie. That triggers the Quick Saber, but there is another hit on the board. Okay, Dino Illusion getting triggered because, of course, it does. Earth Barrier coming into effect. This is good from Kaijong, getting back into this match. Droplocephalus doing the job. Okay, that's a tie. A couple of ties and the Mega Raptor could go down without the need to hit through the Dino Illusion. And yep, that's a second tie. Oh, the Mega Raptor just survived. Okay, they, that gets rid of the Dino Illusion, so that hit is kind of wasted. Probably would have preferred a tie there just to get rid of this Meg. Oh, there we go, there's a tie, and that is all she wrote for Mega Raptor. Well, if you're Kaijon, you're not going to want ties now, because coming in next for Black Rider, we've got this Shunasaurus. This Shunasaurus, I believe, is tie type. It's got the Ocean Pack. It's basically a tie specialist that I've set this dinosaur, and his moveset as well, so ties are definitely going to suit Black Rider now. Although I will say, other than the crit, the Shunasaurus doesn't have the hardest hitting moves. And the Earth Barrier is still in effect. Ugh, really? The random number generator is playing up now. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Pause it just in case. 
<laughs> We're not off to a good start so far, are we? <laughs> that's a four. And that's a two, so... After everything said and done, it's going to be a big shot from Black Rider. A tie bomb is going to come in. A crit block is going to come in. Okay, yeah, there's the Earth Barrier being used. But the significance of this hit is not so much the damage. It's the fact the crit block activated. So that means the Shunasaurus will get at least a tie. And ties are what it wants because of the Ocean Panic and the tie bomb. And well, here it is. No Ocean Panic though, but the tie bomb does go off. You just saw there exactly what this Shunasaurus is all about. Okay, Kaijan does get the next hit though. It is a mole attack. I think this Yupo is a crisis type as well, so it's going to do a decent amount of damage. Oh, Buddy well does as well. Look at that. Massive hit from the Opticephalus. And with this hit, that's actually going to put Kaijan in the lead. But we dare not count Black Rider out yet because coming in third, we got the big bad Black T Rex. This thing is insane. It's got it, it could have a built-in death fire. It hits really, really hard. Kaijon's gonna have to be careful here. Black Rider is far from out of this. But I will say they have lost momentum after a promising start to this match. Oh, that's another hit. This Uoplocephalus is doing... Oh, look at that! An Earth Barrier here, and Kaijon will be well on top. Okay, there's a hit. Uoplocephalus finally goes down, but it definitely put a shift in for Kaijon. Right, coming in third for Kaijon Cooper, we got the Super Torvosaurus, Awake Mode on three. The Black T-Rex Imposter, as I like to call it. <laughs> that Awakened hit could be key to to decide who wins this match. But yeah, this has been a very in interesting contest so far. Both of our guys, are, I'd probably say Kaijon's definitely had more hits in this match, but Black Rider wrestling back control with that tie hit. Oh, that's a Magma Blaster. That's going to do big damage to the Torvosaurus. Black Rider starting to get hits again. And how... How crucial could the timing be? Look at that! Massive hit from Black Rider. And in fact, I'd probably, probably say they're one hit away from the win. Just like that. Ooh, but Torvosaurus responds. And Nut gets a Magma Blaster off, giving Black Rider a taste of his own medicine. Can Torvosaurus survive to the Awakening? Look at that! Okay, this is it. The Death Fire has been triggered. After this, we're going to have a winner. Can Black Rider snatch it? Oh, he can't! And it's Kaijon Cooper getting the victory. Last year they fell at the last 32 hurdle, but this year they're going through to the last 16 round at the expense of Black Rider. Who I really thought could have a deep run in this tournament, but they are bowing out at the last 32 round. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? On to our next matchup now to find out who Kaijon will play in the last 16. Okie dokie, in the red corner for Silver Knights, we have got Uteraptor. Silver Knight scraping free in that insane heavy hitting group, that is Group C. And actually, uh, this is an interesting field because both our guys will get terrain advantage at some point in this match. Silver Knights with a spiny tector, futuristic with this super barry. Coming in in the blue corner for Futuristic is Super Baryonyx, Awaken Mode on 3. And well, if there's one thing I've noticed about few matches involving Futuristic is that they do love a fast start. And they're going to get one here because they will get the first hit. I think, I would probably say of every team in the tournament, I don't think there's someone, anyone that has started matches as fast and as well as Futuristic. So that's something Silver Knights has got to be wary of. Okay, so there's terrain hit. Ooh, but it's Silver Knights getting the first shot of the match. Well, first random shot of the match. Elemental power coming in. That's going to be very useful against this Baryonyx. It's got all water moves. Good start from Silver Knights. Oh, not again. Really? Oh. <laughs> okay. Mm. 
I just took a drink. All right, that's one. And that's two. And that is going to be a crit for the Baryonyx. And it is going to be Awakening time. Yeah. <laughs> just double checking to be sure. But it is Awake Wake time. And of course it's Futuristic getting the hit. And he finishes off the Uter after the boot. And well, there's, there's that fast start again from Futuristic. Getting early leads in matches have definitely helped them and have been a big factor as to why they've got this far. Right, coming in next for Silver Knights, we have got Penticeratops. Silver Knights, well, they get some hits. And it's got the elemental power buff, it's definitely going to help Pentaceratops when the Cychania comes in, which I suspect it will soon. Well, not if Juristic keeps getting crits, it won't. But yeah, look at that, even without the elemental power buff, not much damage done from the barrier. As opposed to this hit from Pentaceratops, which will probably finish the barrier. Yeah, it does. Elemental power coming in. Again, that's going to help against the Cychania. Right, coming in next for Futuristic, we've got Super Cychania, Awaken Mode on 3. That Awakened hit could be key here. Despite having the type advantage, the Pentaceratops gets hits off. That Elemental Power will max up. It is still going to be tough to take down. And I think the saving grace for Silver Knights here is if Futuristic fails to get the Awakened hit, that will leave the door open for Pentaceratops to finish off the Psyche. Okay, that's a tie. Ooh, that's another tie. Both our guys went for crits there. And it's Pentaceratops getting their next hit, maxing up that elemental power. That's pretty much going to nullify the terrain type advantage that Futuristic has. But Futuristic does get the next hit. Defense boost going to activate. But yeah, look at that. Even with type advantage, minimal damage done. Okay, what have we got here? It's an Earth Barrier. I'll come in handy. Right, that's twice. Oh, Pentaceratops getting the next hit. But yeah, even... Okay, oh yeah, Earth Barrier was in effect. Okay, what we got here is a Lightning Axe. Going to add some extra damage. Right, here we go. This this could be a big moment in the match. Mental Fusion. Oh, but this time, the hit goes to Silver Knights. This time, Futuristic does not get the Awakened hit. And in fact, this Lightning Axe might be lethal for Cychania. Oh, I think it's if barely survived. But Futuristic missing an opportunity there to get a big hit and take the lead. And now they're going to be behind because Cychania is going down. No slash. Right, coming in next for Futuristic, we've got Ace Dino Tector. Well, it's hardly had to step up at all this entire tournament for Futuristic, but it's going to have to step up here now. If Futuristic wants to stay alive. Because not only does it have a buffed up Pentaceratops to worry about, it's got Spine to worry about coming in third with the terrain advantage. Oh, that's not good. Silver Knights really has stoked turned the screw on this match. Futuristic needs to get some hits on the board. That's not good. Is this the end for... Oh, hang on. Our lightning axe might confirm it. It might be the end of Futuristic here. The terrain advantage. Yeah, yeah, he's gone. Futuristic's going to be gone from the tournament. And that hit will do it. It's Silver Knights' victory. And they will go through to play Kaijon Cooper in the last 16 round. And Futuristic, despite having a very strong group stage, winning Group G, they do bow out at the last 32 round. 
That's that's the knockout rounds. All it takes is one defeat and you're done. As I'm sure Black Beauty and MEJP10 are nervously waiting for. <laughs> and yet, no one has ever won one of my tournaments without losing a match. So there is that to bear in mind as well. Right then, here we go. It's time for my match now. <laughs> oh, oh, look, oh, look, well, it's mine as well. <laughs> Right, in the red corner, for D-Team, we have got Chomp. D-Team enjoying a very memorable tournament so far. The plot armor is definitely paying off for them. Oh, Super Chomp, sorry. Wait, hold on, three. And they're going to get plot armor here because they do have terrain advantage with this Chomp. So they're going to get the first hit. And oh my god, it's going to be a cret. <laughs> oh dear. I mean, his terrain advantage is mine as well because... Actually, we have very similar teams. Same elemental types but in different orders. Right, in the blue corner, for our host, Stranger Gamer, is Sinteosaurus, and well, to say it hasn't been a great tournament, but, and to say that, you know, somehow, I'm in the last 32 round. <laughs> when I would say there are probably better teams that have had much better tournaments than me, are out. But, you know, I got here by winning the matchups I needed to win. So that's, that's my defense. <laughs> oh my God. Come on, g can you give me some hits, please? Okay, we got the first hit. I think if I can stop his awakened hits and the Dino Tector, I think I, I will win. I feel confident I will win this match. But yeah, D-Team having a really good tournament so far. And they have beaten both Ultima Dino King and Diddy Darius, two former champs. Has anyone ever beaten three former champs in a single tournament? That that's that's what could be that's what D-Team could achieve here with a victory. Yeah! No awakened hit! Yes! Haha! <laughs> no sense of bias here. Yeah, with your plot armor now. Elemental power coming. I mean, none of that matters because I've got no health. So I'll probably just die in one hit anyway, but. Okay, we stop the awakened hit to stop him going into the lead. Actually, this is a pretty good start. So far, so good. Okay, there's a hit, and that does put him in front. Oh, no, it doesn't! Haha, <laughs> defense burst coming in clutch there. Stopping D-Team going into the lead. Oh, no it doesn't. He gets the next hit anyway. Ah, but he had to use two hits to get the kill. So that's good for me. Right, coming in next for our hosts, we got Mega Raptor. This is the trump card of my team. This guy can sweep. And get some crit blocks going, some tie bombs, some cyclones. We can waste this guy. Okay, that's a five. Okay, there's a hit. Down goes Chomp. We are level pecking. But I will say, I definitely got more hits in this match than him. But, like I said, he got that big terrain hit at the start. Right, coming in next for D-Team, we've got Ace Dino Tector. Now, the big threat for me is obviously the Dino Tector. And he's got, di and he's got the Dino Illusions as well, so the... Getting some tie hits is going to come in really handy here. Chip away at his HP with the tie bombs, the ties. It's going to, it will hopefully help, but i got to get hits first. And I am weary of that. He does have Sonic Blast as well, so. Let's see what happens. Ooh, four. Come on, give me a crit. Give me a crit, give me a crit. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, no Sonic Blast though, but the Dino Tector, that is a factor. Okay, there's another hit, a tie bomb, that's going to help. I'll take any hit to be honest. <laughs> Ooh, and a Cyclone as well. That actually does nullify the Sonic Blast that Ace has. Oh, that's a big Cyclone. Because of the Cyclone, the Megaraptor's going to get the crit, another tie bomb. This is very good from our host so far. Look at that. 
Okay, the Dino Illusion does get triggered, but the Me the Carnotaurus Ace is in killing range of a tie. And there is that tie. The tie bombs will go off. It's lethal for Ace. This is going so, so well. This is going too well. <laughs> and now D-Team is in big trouble because coming in third, we've got Paris, Super Paris. It's got tight disadvantage against that Mega Raptor as well. And it's got terrain advantage that the, of the Orinoceratops to deal with as well when that thing comes in. Now it does have the chance of an Awakened hit. Awaken mode on three. It's got the Venom Fang as well, so it's not all doom and gloom for D-Team, but not looking good at the minute. But you have to say, from the host's perspective, this is definitely the best they've looked since the first match. Okay, as a tie. I don't mind that. Chip away at Paris's HP. Oh, that's a big crit! A tie bomb's gonna come in! This is so much better from the hosts. D team is in big, big trouble now. Can their plot armor save them? Doesn't look like it. The tie bomb's gonna come in. That's it now. A tie'll be do a tie'll do it. A cyclone coming in as well. Where has this come from? From the host. What a showing. D team is just stunned. They just don't know what's hit them. And that tie'll do it. The cyclone is gonna hit it through the tie, and that is gonna do it. And our gracious host, Stranger Gamer. Put aside a very difficult group stage for showing and absolutely dominate against the D-Team. And as for D-Team, you know, they've had a memorable tournament. They beat two former champs, but unfortunately for them, they weren't going to beat a third. Right, on to our main event now. Well, I say main event. <laughs> it's not really. Righty-ho, in the red corner for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got an orange Triceratops. Um, okay, there's no graph types in this matchup, so we don't need to worry about terrain advantages. Sigoi! Sunlight Rabbit enjoying a strong debut so far. As is Benjamina in the blue corner representing them. We got Super Carnotaurus Awaken Mode on 2. Benjamina also enjoying a good tournament, had a good group stage. Hmm, this is an interesting one because. I've written off Benjamina in a couple of matches and then they turned up and won. My, I, I kind of I want to say that I think Sunlight Rabbit will win this match, but I don't know. Benjamina really has kind of produced some surprises. Okay, but it is Sunlight Rabbit getting the first hit. A lightning strike coming in. Just once. Oh, but the Benjamina gets a big crit. That's going to be a big shot from the Carnotaurus. And he's going to get a chance at an Awakened hit as well. And if he plays his cards right... Oh, hang on, what's this? There's a Jet Shuriken. Hang on, this could be lethal. Oh, look at that! Massive hit from Benjamina! Big, big crit from the Carnotaurus. And a tie here, and he gets a chance at an awakened hit on the Apatosaurus. Oh, but he doesn't get the awakened hit. Instead, the Triceratops gets off that lightning strike. That's a good hit there from Sunlight Rabbit. And a chance missed for Benjamina. And that's the lead gone for Benjamina. It is Sunlight Rabbit going in front. Right, coming in next for Benjamina, we have got Super Ceratosaurus Awaken Mode on 2. Well, he failed to get the Awakened hit with the Carnotaurus. Will he get the Awakened hit with the Ceratosaurus? Can't really afford to fail twice. Does need to get an Awakened hit if they want this win. Okay, there goes a the Triceratops. We are all square. 
I think this is going to be an even contest. Okay, attack boost coming in as well. That's going to help. Okie dokie. Coming in next for Sunlight Rabbit, we have got a Patasaurus. Not much to say about this guy since it's got all secret moves. And the winner of this match will go on to play the host, Stranger Gamer, in the last 16 round as well. I should, I should point that out. But I'm assuming most of you know that anyway. Okay, there's a hit. Okay, that's one. Oh, that's another hit. But it is awakening time for that Seratosaurus. So a big hit here, and Benjamin I will go back in front. Oh, but this is Sunlight Rabbit getting the crit. And both times Benjamin R has tried the awakened hit and has failed. And that could be costly. Well, that's very costly now. Sunlight Rabbit has really turned the screw here. Stop the awakened hit, and now Benjamin is in a bit of a pickle. Right, coming in third for Benjamino, we got Kakirodontosaurus. Well, can this Kakirodontosaurus pull Benjamino out of the fire? Sunlight Rabbit has a decent lead, especially at this point of the match. Oh, and all the secret moves have been triggered, just to make things a little bit worse. And it makes it worse because the type advantage will apply now. And I think those moves stay triggered for the rest of the match. Okay, that's a good hit though. Okay, that's a crit. That's even better. This is good from Benjamina. Coming back into this. Sunlight Rabbit unable to land a big shot on the cock. And they're not going to. And that is a Patasaurus down. Well, there we go. Just like that. A lead can disappear. There's me counting Benjamin, alright? Right, coming in food for Sunlight Rabbit. We've got Super Anki Ceratops. Awaken mode on free. That Awaken mode could be the difference between winning and losing. Ceratops landing the first shot. Tappy Jara die. It's a death grind. Whoop a douche. A good shot there from Sunlight Rabbit. That does trigger the Magma Blaster though. Ooh, okay, a light recovery coming in. A good counter here from Benjamina. Twice. Ooh, Kark gets the next hit. Benjamina going in front. A volcano burst as well. I will say, with the Awaker mode active, I don't think Kark will have enough to finish off the anti Ceratops here, but a hit, and Benjamino would be on the brink of the win. Oh, and he gets it! Okay, the Volcano Boost would have won it for him there, but stopping our awakened hit might be enough, and Benjamino could pull this off. And they do, and it's Benjamino's victory coming from behind to beat and knock out Sunlight Rabbit. Well, Benjamino does it again. <laughs> and they go through to the last 16 round. And Sunlight Rabbit, well, their first taste of knockout matches will also be their last. Because they're out. Well, that was fun, wasn't it? it right, we'll have a look at the uh, knockout bracket and we'll end the session. Right, so you can see our two, our first two last 16 matches. It is going to be Kaijong Cooper going up against Silver Knights. 
and then our tournament host Stranger Gamer going up against Benjamina and Black Rider, Futuristic, D-Team and Sunlight Rabbit all crash out at the last 32 round. Interesting. So I think the higher seeds in each matchup have all gone. I think Sunlight Rabbit was second in Group A, D-Team won, D-Team and Futuristic won their respective groups and Black Rider finished second. That's interesting. I wonder if that'll be the case in this in these matches. I, I don't know, because these matches are so open. And yet, we're gonna cover this bracket in the next set in the next part. So until then, ta-ta!